Hey folks, Daily Lions Blog for the 17th of February 2018. I did not speak about my visit to Sunnybrook Hospital to speak to staff on Thursday because yesterday, of course, I was ranting about Donald Trump. And, you know, I kind of, uh, kind of look back at what I said because I know a handful of people were really upset by it, how critical I was of Donald Trump. And, and just looking back at it, I, I have to say, um, I do it all over again. No apologies here. Uh, going to Sunnybrook was one of the, uh, it was a really important experience for me and it was significant for me in a way that um, nobody there, I, I, I don't think had any idea. I don't think I spoke about it, but the week before I had been in the hospital with my mom, Sunnybrook Hospital is in Toronto and she had gone there because she had the flu and um, was weakened by that and because she has Alzheimer's, she wasn't able to communicate it very well. So I spent a fair amount of time in, in Sunnybrook Hospital and then the week later to be speaking, I thought that there was something significant about that for me. And you know, I came up with the answer and the answer is that why am I able to do this? Why have I never looked at mental health as being a weakness in any way? Why uh, have I uh, had the confidence to do things in my life that uh, I never thought I could do? And I realized that the reason why I was at Sunnybrook Hospital and able to do the things that I was doing was largely uh, because of the reason I was there the week before because of my mom and my dad, because of the confidence they gave me when I was an awkward child. I felt loved, I felt supported, and I felt like they believed in me. And the value of that has carried through my life all the way to this day. And I just thought it was important for me to mention um, that for me, um, you know, my mom is, is, is here, uh, but she's gone. And uh, I'm happy that I actually told her that many times that she gave me a chance in life, as did my dad. Uh, and there's just no substitute, uh, even through mental health. The thing that has, has really uh, helped me is the confidence that I'm okay, uh, that I'm believed in. So I just wanted to say um, thank you. Now, you might be thinking, well, if his mom has Alzheimer's, she's probably not watching the Daily Lands blog. But she did watch every episode of Off the Record, every single one. And uh, by the way, one other thing at Sunnybrook, I had a buddy that came who was uh, a resident at Sunnybrook. He's in the uh, in, inpatient. And I looked out and I saw him um, when I was starting and we kind of locked eyes. And I thought of how lucky I had been to be treated for my mental health struggles. I felt how lucky I had been to have um, really been in a bad place but gotten out of that place because treatment helped me. And I looked at my buddy and I thought, he hasn't been so lucky, but stay with it. Stay with it because almost everyone does find the solution, but it's just not easy to come by. Sickdownweek.com. 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. I'm starting to feel guilty about uh, the things I said about Donald Trump. I was very insulting to him. No, I'm not! Not You're just one. bitter about not being on TV anymore, right? Yeah, that was a comment that someone made. No, no. 18 years doing the same show. It was enough.